And you know what's interesting? I work with lots of cisgender heterosexual couples, and sometimes I know people give feedback about their partner's body that that can be very painful. If we're, there's something in our partner that we don't like and we want to ask for a change, what would be a good way of bringing that up? Boy, this part about criticizing our partner's bodies is so, I hate that I have to keep doing and you have to keep doing education about this, but I, you want to shut somebody down sexually, you want to like tank your sexual relationship, criticize your partner's body. For our cis hetero couples, I think if, if somebody has lived all their lives as a man, I don't, they, they cannot, there's no way they can fully comprehend just what it's like to have been raised as a girl and a woman and how, and how much the culture objectifies us and how much we then go on to objectify ourselves. And so if he makes a comment about whatever it is, you've gained a little weight or what about working out more? It is like, it can be, I'm not speaking for all women, but it can be just to the bone. And it is and it's going to have the effect of shutting her down because it is just a reflection of what she's saying to herself all the time anyways. Whenever we have a criticism about, about our partner's body, that is a massive invitation for us to look at what's going on inside of ourselves. Why? What is threatening to me about my partner's changing body? What is the narrative inside of me about the kind of body I'm entitled to or might I benefit from deconstructing or reimagining sexual attraction? Why is sexual attraction based on how many pounds on the scale you weigh versus how your body feels wrapped up with my body, right? So a criticism about our partner's body is in the vast majority of situations of an invitation to look at ourselves. What's the what's going on inside of us that we are that we are directing our attention out there? And I think women to men too. Women, I think part of part, you know, traditionally part of what it is to be a woman is to tend to your male partner, to feed him, to make his some women I know make their husband's doctor's appointments or kind of manage their care. It's like part of that caregiver role for women. And so it's a very thin line or a slippery slope from I'm in charge of making sure you are healthy to then I get to comment on when you are gaining a little bit of weight or when you are not working out enough. And I think that it might be easy for a woman to underestimate the power of her critique of her husband's body. So just, yeah, I think that's, I'm so glad that you brought that up because I think we don't talk about that nearly enough about how our feelings about our partner's bodies say a lot more about us than it, they do about what's going on with our partner. 